All right, we're playing against an Orn with Glacial Augment. That's new. Speaking of Sunfire, this is actually... I might still go Sunfire, even though I'm running Unflinching and Tenacity. They have so much CC this game. Nice, really good start. Those are my favorite type of starts, man. You get those three minions with the E and then just get that PTA proc in. The thing that makes that so good is like, if anything, you're gonna get the three melees and then just trade with shield. Like you don't even have to land the E, it's just kind of a bonus if you do. And then not only that, but they're going to be focused on trying to get the melees. So they're not really focused on you trading. He went tier start. That's why he's spamming Q. And Fiddle's on red right now. Doing the classic red plus race at the same time, the fiddle strats. Feel like you're at Disney again with this music. I've actually never been to Disney. Disneyland. Yeah, we're listening to the Lineage T playlist. They have really good soundtracks. I've never played the game but they have a really good soundtrack. Uh, I'm going to get a call back here. I hope he doesn't run into Fiddle. Oh, he did. That's going to be a TV one bed. If mid rotates, it's going to be, a, I guess, a 3v2. He can just run through that. Should be out. That was really greedy since I was back in. Ah. Uh, well, my lane got first blood off it. Man, that was so greedy. He should see that I'm backing for Cole. I guess he's probably saying that I should have invaded with him at the same time. Unlucky. Yeah, he got both laners flash. It might not be the worst worst thing in the world. I think Orn is going to buy a Warden's Mail, though. And it's going to be, like, impossible for me to kill. Got a blue buff, too. Why is this guy mad that I'm canceling his back? That's like one of the most common things in top lane. Like, you should never let people get free backs off. Why do some autos have a shotgun effect? It's the little, uh, see those indicators around my legs? If I attack where those are up, then it does a shotgun. So that's your passive on Urgot, and it's very, very strong. That's why a lot of Urgots, you see them, like, circle around people with the W. That's to uh, proc your passive really quickly. <laughs> mad because bad. Yeah, pretty much. It's weird though. We're playing in like D1 Masters and he's mad about me canceling it back. Like that happens literally every game. That is just part of top lane, my friend. It's the way the cookie crumbles.
fiddles somewhere topside. All right, we got it back. He's going to look for a gank. I think he maybe gets six off that camp. Oh, maybe not, actually. Last Crow Bender. That's a good fiddle name. Uh, you know what, dude? Let's go Coalfields. I actually have kill pressure since he's going, uh... He's going Cindy. Until he gets, like, a Wardens or Bramble or Steel Caps, I have pretty good kill pressure. I think I'll get the cannon without TPing, hopefully. Yeah, we got it. Well, we get XP. Dang, I thought I was going to get it. You know, honestly, even if he gets the Wardens right now, I have a tad bit of kill pressure. It's kind of unfortunate that Fiddle was top there. I probably would have tried for a kill. Since we got him kind of chunked. Oh, dude, he's going straight for Sunfire. Okay. This is really good for me. I mean, he's still orange, so he's still kind of tanky. But we do have a chance to kill him. Like, normally, if people go Wardens and, like, stack all this armor, you just you don't even have a chance to kill them with their got early. You just have to scale. So having the chance is kind of nice. Does he have a control ward? He greets for the cannon. It's a good trade. Oh, if I walk over his Q, it procs the glacial. Guess that makes sense. It's a knock up. I just didn't think about it. Nice. I'm glad he listened. If I have flash, it's just completely free. Um, I... Oh, there's Fiddle. Okay. He does have TP. We'll just get one. Actually, let's make him use TP. If I recall right away, he doesn't use TP. But if I stay, he does. And he does have ulti, so let's not go for a greedy back. Oh man, I wish I didn't buy this control ward. I'm gonna sell it. I already have this control ward out right now still, so I can't place it anyway. This guy hasn't gone for a ward yet. At least in the river. Gonna go for a freeze here. This is a really good time to freeze. Oh, I let it kind of go through. Whoops. Ah, oh, that's not gonna be as good. It's so hard to freeze on her god, actually, man. Yeah, this isn't gonna be as good as I thought. If those melees didn't go into turret. What is this guy doing? What are we doing, man? We're missing everything. Alright, cool. 
Kill secured. Do I have any extra work or do you just do live streaming? Uh, right now just live streaming and YouTube. I actually have been dog walking for a few people on the side. But it's not really like a, a legit job or anything. Dude, I've been dog walking though for a... There's this border collie man, he's so cool. I wish I could take him home. I wish he was my dog. I'll show you guys a picture after this game. He has no ulti. Get our cleaver here. He went for the frostfire. Cleaver's gonna shred him right now. You know, honestly, I'm just gonna go Merc Treads because they're really AP heavy anyway. So we actually don't need to go Sunfire. Having Merc Treads plus Unflinching plus Tenacity, that'll be more than enough. No, sadly I don't have any pets. I'm not allowed to where, where I live. Good old apartment living, dude. It sucks. But yeah, once I get an actual house, I would like to get a dog or two. And maybe a cat, honestly. Fiddle should be going for drag. Oh yeah, dogs are awesome, man. So I was actually, that was kind of my main job before streaming was uh, was dog walking actually. For like way more people. But now I just do it for a few people. Yo, thanks for that resub, Pigeon. Appreciate it, dude. Fiddle's coming top. I wonder if I can try to kill him, maybe. I'm in that spot against Orn. I need to, like, freeze right here, but it's really tough right now when he just plays passively. Oh, he knows I'm here now. I got baited by his clan. I would like to fight here if we can. Alright, nothing is gained, nothing is lost. Dropped you a host by the way right now, tilted so you'll be lurking. Oh snap, thanks for the host, Airpug. Yeah, sorry it doesn't come through on the uh, notification still. Okay, literally four man bot here. Dude, I wish I had TP so bad right now. If Uter comes ever, we can dive this easy. Mm, 
my god. This is probably going to turn into like a 3v2. You're kind of liking Holebreaker still? I think it's still good, yeah. I got an actual like true tank matchup, so I'm going Cleaver. Cleaver this game. This will be a good uh, Force of Nature game. Actually, dude, I might go Ma. 4 AP. Can we 2v2? Gotta play it kind of slow versus their team comp. Kind of hard to completely run in. Yeah, Urgot Jungle's okay. Like, you can definitely win with it. The worst part of Urgot Jungle is honestly the early game, in my opinion. If you're comparing it to like other jungles. Oh yeah, look at that damage, man. If I get on him for like two seconds, man, if I land an E, I can actually one combo. Feeling really strong. We need to fight for this drag, though. I could E flash kill him, but I think we'll save it for the uh, team fight. Pretty chunked. Oh my god, dude, he's one HP. Dang, even with TP advantage, I guess we can't run in. They have a really hard team comp to engage on, I'm not going to lie. And uh, we have a least support. Dang, I wish we had an in in engage support. Make the game so much easier. Let me think here. I could go chem tank. I think I'll do that actually. Yeah. I think chem tank plus force of nature for the movement speed. That sounds good. I need movement speed this game. Yeah, I don't this Elise is dying on repeat, man. I need to match the Orn. He can't do anything against me right now. Baron. Hmm.
I don't like the Baron call, man. Gonna lose way too much bot lane. It's too 50 50. Unless we pick Fiddle. Okay, well, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Alright, running back over. Alistar would be good into them. I think Alistar would be super good here. Or like a Leona. Like, Leona would be so nice. Oh, hello. Oh my god, I lived. Jeez, good save. Good save, good save. Uh, Lulu ulti, Vigar ulti, Fiddle ulti actually. Got like every single ulti there. This would be a really good time to try to fight, but we probably can't really force anything. I wish Dragon was spawning like right now. Be such a good time to try to fight. Okay, I need to go bot here though. I have TP advantage. Orn has no TP and he also can't beat me in a 1v1. Feels a little too sketchy to try to clear that. I think he was aiming for me. Jesus, dude. I'm too zoned off by these Jinx traps. I can TP back in. I got a heal, though. Dude, Morg's going in, man. This Morg is really good. Really, really good. Yeah, Baron for sure. This is still a little bit sketchy, man. This guy's gonna get Vigar ulted. Okay, I can't really circle around. I'll take too much damage from Jinx. Just try to live. Ooh, nice. I thought they, I thought they stole that for a sec.
All right, we got the core build, dude. This game is intense, man. Started off kind of slow, but the mid game is crazy. He just got a Warden and a Bramble, by the way, on the Orin. You know, honestly, though, at these levels, I don't even think that's worth it. I should win at these levels. My passive will just do too much damage. Take it slow, man. My team is getting mid right now. This is actually good. A little bit sketchy because I'm kind of chunked, but just getting mid is good even if we get out with that. I don't really want to recall until I know my team is out. Wait a minute, are they? I thought they were taking the portal. That was weird. Did they like start channeling that and then cancel it? Uh, let's see. Let's go Force and HE. Actually, you know what, dude? Yeah, let's go Force and HE. I was debating Ma or Force and HE, but I think movement speed is crucial. Oh, yeah, you can cancel that. I wasn't sure if you could do that. So you could actually bait people like that, I guess. Not that it would really be, like, super important or, like, that good of a bait. But you can kind of throw people off, I guess. Make them, like, cancel their recall or something. Yeah, Chem Tank is good on her gut. It's very, very comparable to Frostfire in terms of stats. And sometimes the active can be really big value. Honestly, sometimes the ability haste is pretty nice too. Ability haste is kind of weird on her gut. It's not the best stat, but it's really nice for... It's nice late game just for shorter grinders when there's a lot of team fights. And then depending on how the team fight is played, you sometimes get two E's as well. Okay, that's Orn Flash and Ulti. I've been going Frost if I just feel like I need to engage, or like the movement speed. Movement speed feels crucial this game. It's honestly really hard to team fight against their team comp. We're doing a good job just playing off objectives though. Can't really walk in, man. None of us really can walk in. Ah, I'm dead.
I think honestly we just have to play for objectives. Does not seem possible to It doesn't seem possible to like force. Who got my shutdown? Bye guy. Wait, how how are they getting objective bounties, really? Doesn't even feel like they're that far behind. I guess I have 100 CS on Orin. That's honestly probably making up a lot of it. Gonna go Sterex for my last item. The shield will be massive here. Legit have no support. Yeah, it's kind of rough. That's what makes team fighting so much harder this game. And that's what makes it uh, engaging like so much harder. Nice, good Baron pickup. So Force of Nature gives me five percent movement speed, and then ten percent when I'm at full stacks. So I should stack this up really fast because taking magic damage gives me stacks and they're literally 4 AP. They have a lot of immobilizes too. This is actually perfect, man. I kind of feel like every game versus Vigar goes like this, though, man. You can't ever, like, force versus champ. He's so good. He's so good at stolen games out. They play smart. Oh, you're dead, buddy. I'm gonna try to get top here. Actually, I'm out of here. Nah, it's not flash. We just fight for drag. Ooh, why is she taking really risky pathing? I guess she's playing Morgue, she's good. The Morgue pick is also insane into their team comp. Just heavy AP and like heavy CC. It's really close to being snipeable. Careful, dude. Ah, man, she flashed away. After she flashed, I felt like I couldn't get to her. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's so tough to play versus their team comp. I, I really don't like how they're getting objective bounties this game, just because I'm doing good versus Orin. But I can't really, like, press my lead as an Urgot. Into their team comp, I just can't do it, you know? I need something to play off of. And yeah, Jinx Lulu is just crazy. Their comp is really good. 
Like, normally when you draft this much AP, it's pretty bad. But with the Jinx Lulu combo, it's actually not that bad. If we kill Jinx, man, if we can actually kill Jinx early, the game is easy peasy. Which is really hard to do. She's positioning well. And just has so much support, man. Like, not only the Lulu, but also the Vigar Cage. Orn Frontline, CC. Everything is just CC. She has a lot of supportive champions. Oh, man. What is she doing? Why is she doing plays like this, man? Like, what is the point of doing this? That should honestly be reportable. I'm gonna try to make them back here. At least a few people. I'm gonna try to end, dude. Oh my god, we actually win. Dude, no way. This actually worked out. GG, man. Victory. Holy moly. I can't believe we won that game, dude. That was the hardest game I've played recently. That Morg was a beast, dude, man. Jeez, how did we win with that support, man? That's crazy. Thirty nine K damage on Jinx, man. Wow, I cannot believe that.